Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the Brave browser. I'm gonna tell you the story of why I didn't like it at first. Actually, I, I couldn't stand it at first and why I'm completely converted to it now and why I think it's really gonna be changing the internet browser and advertising world in general. My name's Chris with Committed 3D Tech. Thanks for stopping by. So about a month ago, I got some comments about the Brave browser. Uh, and basically the way they pitched it to me was, you use this browser and you get paid in basic attention token or BAT. And at first I kind of brushed it off because I had other things going on, but I eventually did try it out. So what happened was I downloaded the browser, I opened it up, I turned on the ad rewards, and I watched a few videos to see what would happen. Nothing. It was straight crickets for any ad revenue that I got. A couple weeks later, I even got an email from someone else. I still get comments about it, saying how awesome the browser is and that you should use it if you're not already. So um, just a few days ago, I decided, you know what, let me just give it a shot again and see if it's gonna work. So what I did was I went in and I changed a few of the settings and I started getting uh, tokens in return for watching advertisements on YouTube videos. I'm an avid YouTuber uh, and I watch YouTube as much as I post, probably more than I post. And so it just makes sense. If I'm gonna be on, on YouTube watching videos so frequently, then I might as well uh, get paid in return for my attention. And that's the whole concept behind the basic attention token is that uh, basically you, you should be reimbursed for your attention. So on top of that as well, I love their creator program, which basically allows viewers to tip creators uh, that they like. The reason that I was convinced after seeing rewards for my attention was because the advertising industry is a $493 billion industry. Let that sink in. Wow. 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 So to say that you should be paid for a little bit of your attention watching advertisements is an understatement, especially when you have people like Graham Stephan who are making over a hundred grand on one single video about how he got a Tesla. I just think that is absolutely ludicrous. And Graham, props to you, man. I think that's great that you're making so much money. And with that, I think it isn't unreasonable to say that viewers should get some reward for watching advertisements in return. With that, let's talk about why I like the Brave Browse. Obviously, the number one is that it pays you for watching advertisements. It also puts the power in your hands to reward creators that you choose. It also is a very good browser. It has very strong shields to block advertisements if you don't want to, but then it also does things like let you sync with other browsers so you can import your bookmarks directly from other browsers seamlessly, which is very, very nice. Of course, with that, there are gonna be some bad things. It's still a developing tech. So, like I said, I did have some difficulties in the beginning. I did change some settings where I turned the shields off for YouTube. And that's when I started to see some more returns for me watching ads, which it technically isn't supposed to do that, but I, I found that it worked better in that case. Uh, with that too, there are some kinks in the functionality. If you use the browser on multiple devices, so for instance, I have my iMac, I have my MacBook, and then I also have my phone that I use it on. Now what that's gonna do is, as of right now, it's gonna create different personas for every device that you have. Meaning, all the reward tokens you get on one device aren't going to sync up with the other device. Which, if you're switching back and forth between computers, and your phone, it might make you think that you have lost some of your rewards. That's not the case. 
It's just that they don't all sync up and merge together uh, yet. As of right now, it makes those multiple different personas. On their website, they talk about how they're, they are going to fix that in the future, but that's how it is for right now. So overall, the, the cost or the, the downsides to the benefits, it's a lot better to use it uh, and just deal with some of those, those quirks for sure. I mean, you get rewarded for having to watch ads. So a couple tips when you download the browser. The first one is smash the like button if you haven't already, because that helps the YouTube algorithm so that my videos go in front of a larger audience. Just kidding, but seriously, the number one tip I would say is to turn off the shields on websites that you frequent. For instance, YouTube. This may or may not be the best way, but like I said, that's how I started getting results. Tip number two, the ads cannot be skipped. So you have to make sure you watch them all the way through and be prepared to have them play without a skip option. And tip number three, choose how many ads you want to do uh, per hour. Once again, I suggest maxing this out because you're gonna get the most rewards from doing it that way. Lastly, if you haven't already, make sure you check out the giveaway that I'm doing on my page. Uh, I'm giving away a, an XYO Geo Mining Kit, which is $399 retail value. I'm giving it away for absolutely free. All you have to do is do a kind act for somebody. Wow. 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 You're so, wow. wow. And I'm just going to be honest, <laughs> having read all of the comments that you have posted on, on that video, have seriously touched my heart so much. I, I keep telling other people how, how amazing it is, all of the kind acts that you all are doing. And even for me, it's, it's hard to get through reading some of the comments without getting choked up. So I just once again wanna thank you all from the bottom of my heart. With that, thanks for tuning in. I'll make sure to put a link down in the description if you want to download the Brave browser for yourself and start giving it a try. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so that you can get updates every time I post a new video. I have some very exciting content coming because as you can see, I have a coin mine one. I'm doing a review on that in the next few days, as well as tons of other things that I've been finding in the crypto world, updates, new tech, and the like. So thanks again for stopping by. Once again, my name's Chris with Committed 3D Tech, and we'll catch you next time around. Like, wow. 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 Gonna be our honeymoon. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow.
right? Yeah. Great. Thing. Amazing. Let's get a shoe shine. Wow. Flippers and all. Wow. 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 This is a nice boat. Wow. I swear I got screwed on the old bedroom selection. Every room's like four times as big as mine. Wow. No wonder she wanted to lead. Wow. That's pretty good. Wow. Wow. 